In this video, I'm gonna go over how to start a career in ironwork right after this. <laughs> Structural ironworkers and reinforcing ironworkers both make a relatively good paycheck, but they earn it. In the Pacific Northwest, specifically where I am at in Local 29, the starting wage for a first period apprentice is 60% of a journeyman pay, or $23.46 per hour. The journeyman pay currently is $39.10 an hour on the check and it increases year after year. But that $39.10 doesn't count all the benefits that the employer pays. The total package per hour is almost $100. Not to just target the Northwest, ironwork in a nutshell is not a cakewalk. You have to work in all types of weather if you want to make a living. Rain or shine, I've even worked in the snow. And hours are up and down. Sometimes you work 40 hours a week. And lately, I feel like all jobs are 60 plus which is great money, but it wears you down physically and mentally. On a regular day, you could lift something 50 pounds over 100 times. Side note, I'm going to make a video about good workouts so when you get your call to start, your you are ready to rumble. But, in all honesty, the main thing you need for this trade is heart. Ironwork is all about effort and if you a work hard even when others aren't watching and b show up and work every available hour especially the last minute overtime calls you'll be fine and once you finish your four-year apprenticeship program and get some years underneath you and earn your spot things get better the first year or two is supposed to be your hardest I get a lot of questions on should I get welding certs or other types of certifications? And that's a tough question to answer because if you join a union like I am a part of, and I strongly encourage you to join a union because the brotherhood is second to none, I could honestly make a video strictly about brotherhood and unwritten rules. But I don't want to ramble on, back to my point, if you join a union, they will pay and give you all your certs. But if you have them already, you will score higher in the application process. So I'm not going to tell you or not tell you to get them or not to get them. So in a nutshell, if you want to work really hard to make a decent wage, become an iron worker. If you guys have any more questions about how to get into ironwork, feel free to comment down below and I will try to reply as fast as possible. Thanks for watching and as always, work safe out there. Yeehaw.